Many centuries ago, the Hornada Mogollon people would inhabit these very plains. They would leave paintings all over the nearby rocks, and they would live in a small village right over there, where they would grow squash and corn. This is the story of the Three Rivers Petroglyph site. As far back as 200 Anno Domini, members of the Hornado Mogollon culture have been leaving petroglyphs all along the mountainside. The site is home to roughly 21,000 beautiful petroglyphs, the largest in all of New Mexico. We began our hike at high noon, and what we saw was truly incredible. Right at the beginning of the hike, as you can see, there's uh, some petroglyphs here. This area is known as uh, face mask, face mask petroglyphs. Really, really cool. And they are amazing, and it is beautiful out here. So that's where we just were. And uh, over here, there's some more petroglyphs. As we continue our hike up the little hill here, so here we see uh, animals, and uh, I believe these are big horns. Really, really cool. Man. Here's some more uh, animals right here. Really, really cool. Man, these are beautiful. This is really incredible. Look at this. This is the face depicted right here. Man, these are absolutely amazing. This is a cool little piece of graffiti right here. Um, it looks like someone was here in 1904. And that is very interesting. The Horda Mogollon people would use stone tools to remove the dark exterior of the rocks they carved the petroglyphs into. That exterior is called the patina, and through the process of oxidation, the pigment of the carved area would change, allowing the petroglyphs to stay there for thousands of years. Throughout the site, you will find a variety of petroglyphs depicting different things. One of the most common ones is a circle with dots surrounding it. The circle and dot motif, as it's called, makes up 10% of all the petroglyphs at the site. However, it is not commonly found at other Hornada Mogollon sites. There are also many faces and masks depicted all over the site as well like the one on screen now. Animals are also very common at the site, along with other Hornada Mogollon rock sites. There are also several depictions of birds, which are symbolic for rain and a good harvest. Excavations on the site began in 1976, but it is now open to the public. Nestled between the petroglyph site and the Sierra Blanca Mountains is a small village that likely belonged to the people who carved this wonderful rock art.
So this right here is the site of a prehistoric village. This area was originally settled 10,000 years ago. Man, and it is beautiful out here. An incredible place to settle, huh? So this right here is a replica of a 1,000 year old home. It's believed that a home like this is where a single family would have lived. Farmers most likely. Man, that is incredible. So as time went on, the people stopped using the pit houses and started using these. They are adobe houses built with uh, several interconnecting rooms. Very, very fascinating. The Three Rivers Petroglyph Site is a very important part of American history. It's a reminder of those that came before, the people who lived in New Mexico before it was New Mexico, and their tale will never be forgotten. Voices may be silent, but we hear you all the same. Your words are in the sunlight and the tapping of the rain. It waters all the seeds asleep within the ground below. So come, my friends, it's time that you arose. See, now nobody can say Kiwi wasn't in this room. Kiwi, stop trying to eat bugs. It's protein, let him. Yeah, but they're bugs. Yeah, it's fine. He likes eating crickets, it's fine. <laughs> hey, got a question for you. What? What do you call an ant that likes to collect old things? An ant teaker. Oh, that was a that, that was a good joke that you had. Come on, that's okay at best. Kiwi liked it. Look at him; he's laughing. Kiwi just likes you because you give him food. 